Mobile phone footage shows armed riot police in an isolated Crimean village. They block the streets to the fury of local residents. Local Tatar men are arrested. They're accused of being members of an illegal Islamic group. Brother, we are with you, one man shouts. Activists say it's the latest act of repression against Crimea's Tatar community. Today, another act of intimidation was carried out against Crimean Tatars, Crimean Muslims. Five homes were searched by security forces. A criminal case was opened in connection with participation in his Tariya. The searches are a violation of the law. The group Hizbut Tahrir describes itself as a global political organization which aims to establish an Islamic state. It's not banned in Ukraine, but it is banned by Russia, which annexed Crimea early in 2014. We have taken preventative measures and warned Muslims that this group is banned. Everything connected with it is against the law. The latest action is part of curbing the illegal activities of this extremist organization. The Tatars were deported from Crimea by Stalin during World War II. It was another 40 years before they were allowed to return. Many of them are opposed to being ruled by Russia. Ukraine's government says its Western allies should put pressure on Russia to stop targeting the Tatar community. This is another crime in the long chain of Russian crimes in the occupied Crimea. We consider it as a violation, gross violation of human rights, and we urge the Russian Federation to halt repression against Crimean Tatars and also ethnic Ukrainians who are living there. The Tatars of Crimea may want to be free of Russia, but the Russian grip on Crimea remains firm. Rob Matheson, Al Jazeera.